evening everyone this is rupali and you are watching oris sir the principal conclave 2023 organized by the school of liberal arts xim university new campus at hari rajpur near jatani stressed the need for the collaboration between schools and colleges the theme of the conclave was from school to higher education bridging the gap as many as 25 principal representing various school of odisha participated in the conclave and shared their views the inaugural address was presented by the dn school of liberal arts xim university professor p b patna attending the conclave was chief guest former director national council for education research and training ncert professor rusikesh senapati presented the keynote address Speaking on the topic from school to higher education, Professor Senapati placed emphasis on devoting more time for vocational education and extracurricular activities. He said, "We have to make the classroom process more vibrant to enhance the learning level. We must develop the skills and competences of the student." Holistic projects class will be introduced in the schools not only to reflect marks but also to highlight other things like what initiatives the student are taking and the abilities they have having for bringing change in our learning system our children should be emotionally stable we should take care of their mental health he added um there are some gaps and you know, we are talking about bridging the gap but uh, fortunately or unfortunately Uh, the NEP has not been able to capture the future in terms of technology. Sir, you did mention about technology; it is there, and we have an expert from uh, IIT as well. So during that, there is one incident. The second incident on 21st of July, I had the privilege of organizing G20 University Connect program in our university. Uh, we are one of the 75 universities chosen by the Minister of External Affairs under the leadership of Honorable Prime Minister, uh, you know, to celebrate India's presidency. So there was a second event, and this is the third event wherein again my colleagues have been kind enough to ask me to moderate the discussion on basically education. I would say, yeah, in, from the broader perspective. So I would like to give a quote. um when we when i was talking to the principals of the jesuit province um life in 2050 uh, glimpse at education in the future i'm just giving one quote by 2050 majority of students around the world may no longer have to physically go to school in order to get education instead they will be able to log in from their home a common room in their building or a dedicated space in their community from there they will join students from all around the world and engage in problem solving tasks virtual tours and hands on activities you know i was referring to how ai and machine learning is going to revolutionize education in the future when we look at the humanoids the robots you know already being employed in some parts of the country I also challenge the teachers by giving two contrasting pictures. One is the Elon Musk, you know, school called Ad Astra, which is now renamed the West Indus School, which he founded in order to educate his own children and the children of the staff working in SpaceX, his factory. You know how he is using technology, problem, you know, based education that he is doing. At the same time, I also showed a short video of a young teacher. you know normally we call the what do you call the language teachers by name kulai singh sundi in a school in parapur how he is using mother tongue again coming back to our nep to educate children then he asked the child you know the principals there you tell me which model would you like to choose they said we will go for a middle path okay let us not get into that so all i'm trying to say is you know when we talk about bridging the gap you know we need to be very clear whether the gap is increasing or it is reducing and of course if it is there or it is increasing what can we do to bridge the gap i think our that's how 
all the schools across the country should collaborate with the universities to bridge the gap. As all esteemed elite members, we are getting our clothes, our shirts, pants, blouses, everything stitched as per our need. Time has come to customize, to customize the system of education as per the need of the 21st century learners. Though we are not and we cannot claim to be the 21st century teachers, but it has to be customized. For that matter, we need to go to the grassroots level to think about the foundational stage and we need to create a happy environment that would take care of the emotional quotient of the learners. Health of our system is not good. That, that is the conclusion. If with this, we, such type, with this type of education, we send our children to higher education, then what they will do? The foundation is weak. That is why NEP 2020 is putting a lot of emphasis on this foundation stage. Then when children will come to the secondary, that means the second stage, preparatory is 3, 5, 3, 4, 5, it is already there. It is not something new. It is not uh, physical change. Actually, change in curriculum and pedagogy. That, is, uh, that, that means what is expected. Lot of interaction, lot of sharing, lot of collaboration. Students will get opportunity to exhibit their talents, what they have. Then when children will go to the middle stage, that is class 6 onwards, 6, 7, 8, and what, what problem we are facing in our country? India is going to be the youngest country in the world. We, next decade we will have the maximum youth in our country. And in that scenario, what we are going to do? That means, we, what type of education we are providing to our youth? That you, if you see the vocational education, I am talking about the vocational education because what policy has recommended? Vocational will be education will be introduced from class 6 onwards. And there will be no separate vocational stream. It will be an integral part of general education.